all right everyone welcome to class once again and i remain emmy your tutor here at emmy consult all right so in today's class we are going to be taking the exercise on the page 53 of our emmy 101 manual and the first question says construct regular hexagons to the following dimensions 90 millimeter across flat and b 95 millimeter across corners all right before we continue i would like you to subscribe by clicking the subscription button and the notification bell to stay tuned for more educational content here at emmy consult all right so for us to construct a uh, hexagon we all know that hexagon is a six-sided polygon and for us to construct our hexagon across flat what we are going to do at first is we are going to draw an horizontal line which is more than we draw an horizontal line then with the end of our compass we measure out a 90 millimeter being placed on the horizontal line we strike an arc to cut at point A and then another arc to cut at point F. Alright, so what we're going to do next is to bisect line AF. So we're going to bisect line AF. Then we join. Then we join the bisected line here. This is done to get the midpoint of our circle. The midpoint for the circle. And better still, you may decide to take your radius on your meter rule. Our radius will be 45 millimeter, half of 90. You then place it on any point on the line and then draw your circle so either ways you are good to go and after bisecting you extend your compass to point a then at point a we draw our circle at point o we draw our circle at the point okay. please do ensure the circle is drawn once i actually did this because from our last class, I observed our construction outline were not ticking up. So make sure your circle is drawn once. Up next is to with the head of our 3060 set square. Because hexagon is six sided, and we all know that angle within a point is 260. So as for us to get a desired an hexagon, six-sided polygon we are going to divide angle 360 into six equal halves and the division of angle 360 into six equal halves is 60 degrees so we draw our we place our t squares our set square in such a way that it's at 60 degrees to the horizontal line to the horizontal line all right This is done because we are asked to construct line and to construct hexagon across flats to the intersection of the diagonals we made and also the vertical. Alright, so what we are going to do next is to draw a perpendicular to the horizontal and the diagonal. To the horizontal are the diagonals we made with our angle 60 degrees because we are asked to construct a hexagon across flats so 
at the tangent at the point at which a diagonal made tangent with a circle we then draw a line x project a line which was up and down of the uh, diagonals so we apply same principle to other diagonals and also the horizontal region this is done because we are asked to construct hexagon across flat okay and we are halfway done the next is to taking out the needed or the required hexagon so with the aid of my ink pen i actually employed this because i noticed in our previous class when it's not clear enough so you make use of your thick continuous line this time around to show the desired hexagon so you join the points at which they intersect each other. Okay. Please do ensure it's the very point at which each of the lines intersected each other. And try as much as possible to avoid double lines. Because double lines will reduce your mark. So you draw it at once. actually all right so what we're going to do next is to to annotate our work so we draw a guideline for our lettering you are kind of lost on how to go about drawing your guidelines for your lettering a link on that will be dropped via the description below after this class so you will well to check it out and here we have it the construction of regular hexagon across flat all right so the next is to indicate our line across flat all right and it is represented by a slash f a slash f or a f up next is to construct a regular hexagon across corners and for us to do that what we are going to do at first is we simply same procedure we are we are told the diameter of a hexagon or the diameter across corners to be equivalent to 95 millimeter so with same principle we draw a circle of diameter 95 millimeter and radius 47.5 and radius 47.5 and for us to get an accurate 47.5 we are going to bisect line we are going to bisect 95 millimeter and we're going to buy set our 95 millimeter all right thereafter we join the intersecting point to get our midpoint to get the center for our circle up next is after getting the center for our circle with our compass for the center for our circle hole with our compass being placed at O, 
we extend uh, the radius of our compass to one hand of the end point and then draw a circle then with the head of our 3060 set square this time around the 60 degrees drawn in such a way that it is at 30 degrees to the horizontal line the 60 degree diagonals are drawn in such a way that in such a way that they are at 30 degrees to the horizontal portion or the horizontal center line of our circle all right thereafter with the aid of our 30 degrees we draw a line to intersect the points at which the and diagonals intersect uh, the circumference of our circle in this way in this format up next is to join the vertical portion of the intersecting diagonals okay One thing you are going to notice is for our hexagon across flat, it is drawn in such a way that the circle is within the hexagon. Why for the hexagon across corners, it is drawn in such a way that our hexagon is constructed within the circle. So this is a notable difference you would notice from both methods all right so we then specify or identify our the line across corners the vertical portion of our center and of the circle center point represent ac which is the same thing as across flat a slash c a slash c across up next is to tick in the desired hexagon with the aid of my ink pen all right so you make use of your great b pencil in this case but for clarity i've decided to employ my ink pen okay Please, if you are new to this channel, do well to subscribe by clicking the subscription button and the notification bell to stay tuned for more content here at ME Consults. You can as well do well to like and share this video. Thanks. And here we have it, the construction of a regular hexagon across corners. So, in our next video, or the next question, which is question 2, talks about const to construct a regular octagon. And we all know that octagon is an eight-sided polygon. And for us to, to draw and for us to construct a regular octagon across flat and across corner using the same principle here, we are going to divide our circle into eight equal halves, and this is done using our 45 degree set square. So, at first, we take our radius of 38 millimeter since we are given the diameter of across 
the flat to be 76 millimeter all right <coughs> so with our radius at any point on the horizontal line we do we draw a circle of 76 diameter then we indicate the set we draw the center line the vertical center line thereafter we did over 45 degrees set square we draw our diagonals touching the circumference of the circle in such a way that it's touching the circumference of the circle all right so what we're going to do next is that at the point at which each of the diagonals touches the circumference of the circle we are going to draw a tangent to each of the points at which we have we are going to draw a tangent to each of the points at which the diagonals intersect the circumference of the circle all right so we are going to do this for the for both the horizontal and the vertical for both the horizontal for the horizontal the vertical and the and each of the diagonals all right so up next is to taking out the required octagon and this is done with our grade p any of our grade p pencil so it's going to be a thick outline so i'm going to make it of my ink pen for clarity so with the aid of my ink pen at each point at which the tangent intersect each other i'm going to thicken it out to make up my or to make up the desired octagon all right so we then indicate the line across flat for the given or for the constructed octagon All right and here we have it the construction of a regular octagon with the diameter 76 millimeter across flat up next is the construction of an octagon across corners and we employ same principle so at first we draw our horizontal line then we take a measurement of 41 millimeter the which we take our radius of 41 millimeter since we are given the diameter of of the across corners to be 82 millimeter so with our 41 millimeter radius at any point on the horizontal line we construct we draw a circle and thereafter we draw the vertical center of the circle so with the head of uh, 45 degrees set square we draw the diagonals in such a way that it touches the circumference of the circle Up next is to connect each of the diagonals to the to both the vertical and the horizontal division of the circle. So we 
connect each of the diagonals to both the vertical and the horizontal division of the circle. Then, with that being done, we have our regular octagon across corners. So, what you are going to, one thing you are going to notice between the regular octagon across flat and that of across corner is that the across flat is drawn in such a way that the circle is within the desired octagon why that of across corners is drawn in such a way that the octagon is drawn within the given circle all right Up next is to take in the desired and sides of our octagon and just as I've said I'm going to be using my ink pen to thicken it out while you use your any of your grid B pencil to thicken it out. Alright, so <clears throat> with that being done, we are good to go. question all right the next question says we are to construct a regular a regular pentagon with size 32 millimeter long so at first we are going to draw our horizontal line we then measure out uh 32 millimeter which are meter rule draw so We bisect line AB. All right, then with the aid of our thirty sixty sets, with the aid of our thirty sixty set square and angle forty five degree set square at point B, we draw and we draw a line which sustains at forty five degrees to intersect the bisected line at point four also at point a we also draw a line which substance at 60 degrees to line a b to intersect the line at to intersect the bisected the bisecting line at point six then we then bisect the lines between point four and six to get a point five. So 
with point five at the center we draw a circle with we extend we place our compass at point five extending its radius to point a we then draw our circle the circle this is the given circle for the required pentagon as we all know that pentagon is a five-sided polygon then we then take our radius a b which is 32 millimeter we then step up the radius to cut or to intersect a point on the circle being drawn in y moving in a clockwise direction until it intersect point b until the arc intersect point b all right up next is to join each of the points at which the arc intersect the circle each of the points at which the arc intersect the circle and we have we have the required and we have a pentagon so we then take in the desired pentagon <laughs> the required pentagon all right and we are good to go So the next question says we are to draw a regular heptagon with sides 38 mm long. So we are going to apply the same principle we used in constructing that of the pentagon but this time around it will be the we are going to be making use of point 7 as the center of our circle. So for us to uh, arrive at our point 7 we are going to make use of our 45 degrees set square and a 60 degree set square after which we, after which we've measured 38 millimeter on we name it okay after which we've measured 38 millimeter we bisect line a b At point B, we draw a line which subtends at 45 degrees to line AB to intersect the bisected line AB. To intersect the bisected line of line AB. To intersect the bisecting line of line AB. Then at the point at which it intersects it, we name it our point 4. Also, with the aid of our 60 degree set square being placed at point A, we draw an we draw a line which subtends at 60 degrees to line A B and it is drawn in such a way that it also intersects the bisecting line A B at point 6. We then bisect point the line between point four and six to get our point five. So with the radius of point four and five being taken, we step up the radius at point six to get or to to arrive at to get our uh, point seven then thereafter at with point seven at the center we draw our circle we extend the radius of our compass to point a we then draw our circle for the desire for the required heptagon
with the aid of our compass with radius a b from point a we step up the radius a with the radius a b on the circle we made the other time and <coughs> we step it up seven times to get the required heptagon we then join the point at which the axis intersect and the circle at the circumference as it at its circumference to get the required heptagon we then taking it out Right. Lastly, we are asked to construct or to find the circumference of a circle of diameter 70 mm graphically. Um, please do note that in this video, I made use of 76 mm as my diameter. So I would love you to try out that of 70 mm and then via the comment below, help drop the circumference you arrived at thanks so at first you draw your vertical line followed by and your the diameter of your circle so you take the diameter of your circle which is 76 so 76 millimeter then Thereafter, you strike an arc on the at any point on the vertical lines, making sure the lines is bigger than the actual 76 millimeter we are working with. So, the next thing to do is to locate the center of the is to locate the center of the diameter of the 76 millimeter and then draw a semicircle at point o you draw a semicircle so you draw a semicircle at point o Then at point A, we draw a perpendicular line at the. We draw a perpendicular line to point to line. If we draw a perpendicular line to line AB at point A, so the line 
at point A is done in such a way that it is at 90 degrees to line AB. Thereafter, we take a radius of 76 mm and then step up the radius three times on the perpendicular line we made the other time with and point A at the center. So we then name the the third point at which the hack intersect the line C. So at point O we draw and we draw a line which subtends at thirty degrees to line A B. We draw a line which subtend at 30 degrees to line AB to intersect the semicircle at point D. Thereafter, from point D, we draw a perpendicular line to meet at a point E on line AB. We then join point E to C. So, with the measurement of our line CE being taken, we have the desired or the required circumference of our circle. So, for us to check out if we are right, we then make use of our um, formula, the formula to, cal uh, to calculate for the circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi r h. So in this instance, we make use of our 22 over 7 as the pi, and for us to get our radius, we divide our diameter into two equal halves, which is 38 millimeter, since our diameter is given to be 76 millimeter. So we then calculate for the circumference of our circle, and we have the circumference of our circle to be 238.86 millimeter which is approximately 239 millimeter all right so prior to the one we had making use of the graphical method there is a difference of about one millimeter so there is a difference of one millimeter so i would like you to try out that of 70 millimeter you to try out the that of 70 millimeter and i would love you to drop in the comment below the results you arrived at thereafter thanks
Remember, the only way to overcome your fears is by facing them head on. I remain Emmy, your tutor here at Emmy Consult. See you in the next class.